John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall no leavened bread be seen with thee, neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. Exodus 13 7 Commentary Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days. From the evening of the fourteenth day, to the evening of the twenty-first, Exodus 12. 18, this is very express as before, that not only they were to abstain from leaven, but that they were obliged to eat unleavened bread, and as for the cakes of eggs and sugar the Jews now use, these, as Leo Modwa says, are for those that are dainty and of tender stomachs and such as are sick, who eat unleavened bread also. And there shall no leavened bread be seen with thee, neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. See Gil on Exodus 12. 15, and the above-mentioned writer says. They begin before the Passover, with all the diligence and care they can, to put away all leaven, or anything that hath had leaven in it, out of their houses, and out of their power, searching all their cupboards and bins, and cleansing the whole house and whiting it all over, and they provide themselves also of new utensils for their kitchen and table, or else they new make the old again, and scour them well, or else they have a select number of vessels set apart for the use of the Passover. Only, that so they may be certainly assured that they use not anything during those eight days, that hath had leaven in it. And Aben Ezra upon the place says, that the sense of it is, that the Israelites ought not to suffer any to sojourn in any place subject to them, but on this condition, that they abstain from leavened bread at the time of the Passover, and this he takes to be the meaning of the phrase, in all thy quarters or borders.